Hello, you are watching the Gripe TV. I am your host, JP Forte. Now, today I'm not going to be in the spotlight with the camera. No, no, no. Today I'm going to give that spotlight to somebody else. Someone who is a low-life, worthless piece of shit and is probably, you know, somebody who I honestly have to say is some pretty fucking low-life scum. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because, well, it's people like this that I'm going to be putting into the spotlight that is among the many reasons why I have lost most of my faith in humanity and why in recent years I have become uh, very bitter and angry towards humanity. Now, as you all know, I did a video not too long ago about losing a memory card, wallet, or case, whatever you want to call it, and how I put ads out on Craigslist and, and everywhere else hoping that somebody would give it back, and it's obvious that some low life picked it up and did not give it back. Well, if that isn't bad enough, you know, then along comes, you know, other people who are even bigger lowlifes, basically scammers on Craigslist that want to come and prey on people who feel vulnerable because they've lost a personal item. And along comes these lowlife pieces of shit to come and kick you down even more when you're already at a low point on a certain issue. So here is the fucking piece of shit who basically wanted to play little fucking games with me and is obviously trying to scam me. So, here we go. And, uh, I'm going to show you everything that went down. So hopefully you guys will be protected from pieces of shit like this. Well, what had happened, okay, now I haven't put an ad on Craigslist for quite a while about it because I've pretty much been giving, you know, pretty much given up on hope of ever getting my case back. But what had happened was I got this email, okay? Now I'm going to zoom the camera in, let you all read it. Jennifer Franklin was the person that sent me the message, if that is this person's real name. And it says, hello, my name is Jennifer Franklin. I'm a deaf. Which, basically, you know, if you want to, you're supposed to use good grammar. If you want to use good grammar, it's I'm deaf. Anyway, the person goes into, a wallet was found, and if you can name what's inside the wallet, and where you lost it, and describe the wallet to me. Also provide correct information with your full name and address matching on ID including your email address. It will be returned. You can text me at 330-882-7590. Thank you, Jennifer. Anyway, you know, I sent a response. Here is my response to Jennifer Franklin. The wallet contains a bunch of SD cards to my digital camera. On these SD cards are pictures and video of work I have done with a wolf sanctuary, a trip I made up north with my girlfriend, family photos, and different travels with, with my dog. Many of these pictures on the cards I cannot replace. I lost it somewhere in Yorba Regional Park in Anaheim. It has been two months since I lost it, and I have lost hope at finding it. My name is Justin Forte. If this is my SD card wallet, I will provide my address and send you the $200 reward I promised. Thank you for contacting me. Well, anyway... The person, you know, wanted me, you know, to send him a text, so I sent him a text, you know, and, you know, asking for more information, and what had happened was, I get this, 
I have an urgent text message about my mom's sickness, but I'm currently in Canada to take good care of my mom. That was pretty much um, the last message I got. And what had happened is, you know, I started kind of realizing I had been scammed there. So I notified the police department and, you know, they try contacting the provided number. It's not a real number, by the way, apparently. So right now I am undergoing um, different things I got to do to protect myself. Of course, you know, I'm pretty much, you know, a poor, broke person. I really don't have a whole lot, you know, that anybody can take. But either way, I'm going to protect myself. And, um... Basically, I thought I'd put that out there, you know, to hopefully protect somebody else. And my message to this piece of shit is, um, you know, I hope that something really horrible happens to you. And then we'll see how cute you think you are. Thank you.